This is how you get the maximum skill and do every ending in Ding Dong Dead. Okay, we can skip all this dialogue. This isn't a speedrun, but it's like the fast way. First thing we're gonna do is go straight into the kitchen and get the energy drink from the fridge. Because agility makes you move faster. Turn the ladder on, pick up the knife. Run the cabinet, grab the protein bar. My curtains for the brain points. Grab the phone book, because you get the pizza number. Go into the garage and grab the flashlight and then grab the weights. You head upstairs. Grab the manual, which will make us move faster again. The song, very important, actually imperative to getting maximum points. Open the blinds, get the brain point for the window. The battery, and then you can combine the battery with the flashlight and get another brain point. That also means it's a little easier to navigate the house without turning all the lights on. And then we head into the parents' room, go straight to this drawer, grab the sex ed book, grab the back scratcher from under the bed, open up the blinds, ignore the jump scare, close the blinds, lock the lock the window. Grab the hairpin off of this. The gun safe is just there. Head into this closet here. It's not important to get the floppy disk, but grab it anyway. Small door here. Don't think this is important at the moment. I don't think it does anything. It's just for later, for saving time. Uh, grab the bleach. Into Rex's room. Grab the remote off the floor. Draw here and grab the cassette. Jab scare. Talk to Rex. Threaten physically. <laughs> to get an extra point of moxie. Unlock the window for the brain point. Head downstairs to the lounge room. And the curtain and do the window. Phone, call the pizza guy. As far as I know, the topping choice doesn't actually affect anything. It's just for fun. Call Hip G as well. He'll come straight over. Call Hillary. You need uh, two sexiness to have her come over, which is why you do everything else first. The thong and the sex ed book. And then here, you can use the remote on the TV. Public access gives a point in brains, I believe, and then the late night will give a point in sexiness. To get the maximum points possible, uh, we need to take the late night because we need the extra point of sexiness, which will come into play shortly. Grab the newspaper here, which is mostly an item, but it also triggers the next event. Makes the phone ring. In this hallway here, you can grab this painting. Again, I don't think the note is a requirement, but I'm sort of covering all bases here. Grab the newspaper, slip it under the door, use the hairpin on the door lock, key will fall down the newspaper, you can grab it, you can retrieve it, you can put the bathroom key in the lock. Yeah. From here, poop. Cabinet, grab the cloth, combine the bleach with the cloth, cloth with the bleach on the poop on the mirror. 296, that's for the gun safe upstairs. Again, it's not necessary to clean this off if you already know it, but adding the bleach to the cloth gets you that extra brain point. Grab the laxatives off the floor. This will trigger the <laughs> asylum <laughs> announcement over the radio. Not... Hillary. Invite her in. Don't ask for sex yet. Uh, Want to hear a joke? Just in case you got a hole in one. That's Very funny. important. Grab a moxie point. You can grab the floppy disk if you want. Another announcement about the storm. Back upstairs. There's a floppy disk on the ground now that wasn't there before, which means things are progressing. So once you hear that noise, uh, that means Hip G is going to show up. So you can come down here. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. And ask relationship advice for one. And then, what do you want to do? He'll ask for music, the cassette tape to the radio and get another point of moxie. And now, with our additional point of sexiness, we can ask so for Hillary this? for coitus. Hooray! <laughs> Yay! Huge, huge boost. Okay. While you're up here, you might as well put the code in. Beautiful. Grab the gun. And look at his move now, so fast. Come in here, talk to Hillary. So Ask about her. Get the pendant. The pendant basically lets you respawn if you die once, I think. Hip G, got any bullets? I guess I guess 
There we go. Now we can combine the bullets with the gun for a loaded gun. Oh, brace yourself, jump scare. There it is. Then the doorbell rings. Hopefully that's the pizza. Very good. I'm starved. Get the pizza. Put the pizza on the table. Eat the pizza. Get another point of muscle. Power's out. That's good. Go down to the fuse box. Use our amazing brains to turn the power back on. Dr. Pleasant should show up shortly. Go in here. They can hear footsteps. Hello. Dr. I'm Pleasant. You can listen to all of his law dumping or you can just tell him to fuck off. Oh yeah, that's something we haven't done yet. Uh, come in here. Use the back scratcher on the cat food. Use the cat food on the cat bowl, and then use the laxatives on the cat food. Grab the key. Use the key on the case to get the gas canister. And now you pretty much have free reign of the house. That door will flicker open again. Very scary. That's actually a good sign because it means that things are progressing. Here's a good place to save it if you want to experience the different uh, endings and stuff without making anything impossible. You've got the maximum amount of stats from this point to complete all the different endings, but one other thing to do, depending on the ending you're going for, is get Hip G to go and hide. And then get Hillary to go and hide as well. Okay. It's actually completely unnecessary to tell Max to hide because once the Ripper shows up, he isn't in this room anymore, as far as I know. This is all subject to my experience and my, you know, time playing the game. I could definitely be wrong about a few things. Now we're just sort of wandering, waiting for the timer to run out. There's the power out, so now the Ripper actually shows up. No hesitation. Go straight down here. It seems that there were a string of killings tonight in a quiet neighborhood off the boulevard. For the true maximum stats, though, we have to take a slightly different approach. Kill Hillary as well. We go upstairs and get Rex. Seven muscle. With all these extra points, you can stab the Ding Dong Ditcher, and it's almost a one shot, just about, not quite. Otherwise, you can, uh, you know, get more creative with it, I think. Like, if you're gonna play the game, you might as well play the fucking game. We go back up the stairs. Then we see him. There's the man. There's the guy. We snipe him from up here. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And when you try to leave, you are even more vile than he was. True. Not again. And then we wake up, grab the scalpel, hump up, and stab. Come in here, grab the note, wait here for the decoration to trigger downstairs. Now you run. Grab the key from this painting here. Run upstairs. Oops, wrong room. Go to this one here. Grab Rex, run down here. Now he might catch us on the way out, but we just run to the door and go. And there you go. You talk to everyone, and they love you lots and lots and lots. I'm ready to leave. Then you go back home. You still have all your items. Can you oh, you can. I didn't realize you could shoot. <laughs> you, can <laughs> you could shoot your gun in your own house. That's cool. Grab the pills. And you hear something in there. You find the note that says, answer me. Ready for the last jump scare of the game. At least on this ending. And he gets you. And there you go. That's all three endings. That's the max stats and a few caveats. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.